Hello friends, today we are looking at a couple of Asus smartwatches. This is Asus Zen Watch 2. This is one generation behind, there is a Zen Watch 3 out in the market now. But this is a unique design, beautiful design. The Zen 3, I believe it's all circular, just round faces. It doesn't have a kind of like this face. So that's why I've got that. Uh, these uh, Zen watches, I like this kind of face, not the round face. So, a little note about the uh, watch itself. This is a watch that I have been using since November 2015. And now it is December 2017. I've been using this for two years. And it is fantastic quality. I love the watch. The design of it is fantastic. It uses a magnetic... A connector which is right here I've got the cable we will open a new one here that's why I've got two boxes an old and a new one so it has this magnetic connector connected here and it will start charging it just sits one one direction it doesn't sit on the other direction and then it will be charging like just so okay I love this watch. I've used it a lot for the past two years, every single day. It is awesome. Um, it is gold color on the side and it has this leather strap. The only thing that happened with the watch is the battery is not holding charge as it used to before. It, it works all day almost, but sometimes if you use the watch a little bit during the day, it may require a charge maybe around 4 or 5 p.m. But um, usually it lasts almost all day until I'm back home about 6 or so in the evening. It, it still works um, on a single charge overnight. Um, it used to hold the charge for a couple of days. But that's normal with rechargeable batteries. They just degrade after a few years. And they'll just start, you know, need a replacing. Replacing story is a different thing. I tried to get a replacement for the battery of this watch. I could not find a replacement for this battery on ASUS uh, website. Um, I contacted their repair center and they didn't have a replacement. They said to send it to them and they will tell me how much it will cost. But I know they will tell me it costs a lot. I paid $150 for this watch two years ago. Now um, the price of it is still about a little bit over 100 but I got another one this one here just a week or so ago from BNH the first one I ordered from asus.com uh, from their online store the second one I purchased for $70 believe it or not from BNH completely brand new and the reason I did that is the battery will cost me about $50 to be replaced they have a battery to be sold um, in Europe asus European website they can sell you the battery and they'll ship it to the US. A total cost will be around $50. So I thought, well, I'll just get a brand new watch with everything, including the battery for $70. So that's why I got another watch. But um, I love this watch a lot. It's pretty cool. It shows you um, activity. You know, you'll download the apps and it will show you, uh, connect to your uh, phone. Yeah. And you can choose different faces for the watch. I usually like this one here. All right, so without further ado, um, let's open up the new one. The one I've been using since November 2015 is this box here. They call it Holiday Edition. And it came with a, a power plug and a USB cable to charge it. And I think that's all it came with. Okay, so let's look at the new one. 
the new one says on it a new hypercharge model new hypercharge so i don't know what that means but we will look at it oh by the way the specs for both watches the specs so the screen size for both watches is 1.63 inches and that's an amoled uh, touch display and the resolution is 320 by 320 and the uh, processor is 1.2 gigahertz 400 snapdragon and it has 4 gigabyte of storage capacity and it has half a gigabyte 512 megabyte of RAM and it has a built-in speaker activity monitor and it displays notifications and it runs apps from it you can control your video player um, your music player through the watch YouTube whatever you want to do and it is IP67 water resistance and it uses Bluetooth 4.1 LE uh, Wi-Fi also and it uses the Android Wear app and that applies to both of the watches so now let's open up the new one I bought <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So here it is. That's how it looks like. It is still brand new. I haven't used it. But let's look at accessories first. I think there is nothing inside of here. Yeah, nothing in here. Okay, it was worth a shot. <laughs> okay, let's see what comes with it in here. Okay, so we've got the exact same charging cable by the way you buy the charging cable alone is about $15 so that's another bonus now I have two charging cables <laughs> right and and that's it the box is empty so it's only the wall charger for the USB and the USB cable and again it's with the magnetic connector right there Let's see if it is the exact one. Yeah, the exact same connector on both. The exact same connector. All right, so we will check this out. Need to remove the shrink wrap on it. All right, that's one. Of course, I need to resize this. It's a bit big for me. I think it looks big. Oh, there is one inside too. All right, that's another one. It's another one. And now this. Man, they are so meticulous in their packaging. Okay, now. Yeah. There we go. Finally, we got that open. Alright, so I, I assume it has a bit of a charge. And the uh, strap. Closes like so. Just close it like this. Press here, press here, and that's it. And it looks like about the exact same thing as this. And by the way, you can swap the strap. It's very easy swap. They designed it that way on purpose. You just pull this lever. 
just pull this lever all right so if you would like to swap uh, the straps again you will just pull this lever and uh, that should allow you to choose another one now going back to that first watch that uh, we opened the brand new one i mean that we opened i haven't turned it on yet um, let's plug it into the cable and make sure it charges i'm going to use the new cable because the old cable i know works fine so we'll plug it into my portable charger here It is plugged in right now, and I will connect the plug. I believe it comes from this end. Oh, I'm mistaken. It goes this way. There you go. I connected it, and now, all right, it says it is charging. As you can see, it is working fine. Now, in the same time, I'm gonna turn it on to start the setup process. Okay. Now it should be turning on. There you go. We'll just take it a second to start this is the first time and it may ask me to add it to my android wear on the phone so i may need to exit the camera app that i'm using to record this video and go into the android wear okay swipe to begin english English. Oh, it's three percent. It says wait until it's charged to twenty percent before you proceed. So that may take it a few minutes. Um, but basically, uh, that's what it is. You will uh, start it, and it will ask you to connect to Android Wear. You will download the Android Wear app on your phone. You will open it, and it will be searching for a watch. Uh, or a device uh, and then once it finds this one it will tell you it's an asus this and that and you choose it and then you will just go through the setup and it will basically sync apps to your watch so i'm gonna put this new one down since it's not set up it should be the exact same setup as this old one so i'll just show you the old one that i've been using for a while so we swipe up it shows show you show us the notifications and you swipe them out like this way you swipe down you've got more options and you know you can choose the volume the settings so we will choose settings here and it will show you apps you click on apps and it should show you system apps so these are the apps that are synced to the watch from my phone. And all these apps at any moment they can show notifications on the watch. Now Asus has this app called Zen Watch Manager. You can download that on your phone and you can control your watch through the phone just like I'm doing now but using the phone. Which is pretty cool so you don't have to have the watch in your hand to do this. I'm shifting to the right a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a pretty cool looking watch. Um, I enjoyed using this watch. I would recommend it to anybody who wants a beautiful watch like this at a great price. Now, this new watch i paid 70 bucks for it oh wow it's already 14 percent that's pretty quick so i paid 70 dollars for this beautiful watch big screen beautiful strap 
very well known brand I think you can't go wrong with that okay so it is charging we'll just give it a few more seconds here and it should go up to 20 I guess we are already there so we'll just give it 20 16 be 17 in just a minute actually less than a minute just 20 seconds or so All right, guys, I'm going to pause it for a second and then I'll come back when it is at 20%. All right, guys, uh, it reached 20% and now you can see the watch says you are ready. Swipe to continue. So we will swipe this way. Let's get started by pairing your phone. Let me do this. Android Wear app. In the app, find this watch. So... Let me, uh, I'm going to keep the video rolling and I'll see if I can minimize the, I don't know if I could do that, but we'll try it. Well, apparently I couldn't do that. Um, so the camera stopped recording, but anyhow, you will go into the Android app, Android Wear app and add the watch and you just control it like that. All right, well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep tuned in uh, for more videos related to technology and other items uh, that we use in our daily lives. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Well, friends, this is just an update to the video I made three years ago. <laughs> um, so this is uh, the same watch we reviewed. I've been using it every single day for the past three years and it looks like almost like new. Look at the details of the wrist, wristband. Still the same, no scratches, no color faded, nothing. And still as great as it was when it was new. Fantastic watch. So, just wanted to share this update with you guys. Um, I'll put this in the end of the video that way you will have a sort of a comparison thing between when it was new and now and in person I, I can tell you it's 98% the same as it was when it was new maybe there is a little bit of dirt and stuff like that you know in between the wristband and that's normal you know from usage so Nothing really major. It's a fantastic quality watch for seventy dollars. It's it's an awesome watch. I can't find it anymore. I was looking for one. I couldn't find it. Um, <clears throat> all right. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, by the way, they don't have it on their website for sale anymore. Asus.com. So I'm just putting a link to the site where it is listed, but I don't think you can purchase it. All right. Thanks for watching.